Hey everyone, Z1 here. Um, today we're going. Uh, today I'm going to teach you about operators. Doop. Okay, first one is assignment. See, equals. So basically, doing that is that okay that's a good example it it assigns a value to a variable okay next is arithmetic that that looks like a lot okay so um We don't need this equal signs here. That's going to be explained later, and that isn't an arithmetic, that's an assignment. And a logical. I think. I think it's logical. Might be relational. <sighs> Sorry, I uh, don't know how to, mute, how to mute them, but. Uh, whatever okay so there there would be like equals a plus one okay a equals a minus one a equals a times one a equals a divided by one okay then there's modulo which is a modulo whatever so Yeah, um, let's make that like two. Then I'm going to make this 123. There we go. So basically, modulo will divide A by 5 and get the remainder, which in this case would be 0. So let's make this like 1. There, that's better. Show you the work. Okay, and then there is a plus equals one or there, which is like a equals a plus whatever, except you don't have to type a again. You just type plus. Okay, same with uh, a. minus equals times equals and divided by equals um, and I believe yep modulo equals let me add that here real quick Okay, so that that are those are arithmetic variables. Next is relational. So I'm going to write a few if statements, and then I will uh, tell you about each one. Okay, be right back. Okay, I've finished writing these. Um, I wanted to show you that all of them work, so uh, I renamed or I redeclared a and all of that. So. Uh, greater than basically you have probably all learned this in math a has a greater than value than 10 so it's more than 10 and less than is the opposite of that it's less than 10 greater than or equal to self-explanatory less than or equal to self-explanatory okay equals they did it it 
it has you type e equals wrong it has you type 2 that's because uh, they needed one for declaring and one for conditional so yeah and then a does not equal 10 again that looks a bit weird don't know exactly why they did that but I'm sure they had a good reason anyway let's run this and let's see the output hmm hmm Okay, now it should work. Uh, so all of them are printed out. Okay. So yeah, that is the relational. Now there is actually an easier way to type this and this well if these were one like this as well as this variant of it too there's actually an easier way ah that's gonna be an incremental though okay logical these are like for conditional statements so and a equals 15. This is going to be pretty, much a pretty big chance here. Okay. Then or a equals 15. Okay. And then if a does not equal 10, so I'm going to get rid of this just to show it works. Oh, okay. See, not equal. Of A is this. Okay, well, it, it goes at the beginning of equal signs, basically. So, that's what these are. Okay, let's run it. Okay, pay attention to the first three A and B. So, A does not equal 15. In order for this to work, it would have to be equal to greater than 10 and 15 okay for this it would have to be less than 10 or 15 so yeah there we go that's the logical now for incremental there's only two of these but um, we're gonna try something a plus plus Okay, so you guys are going to see this, right? B equals 100. Okay, then I'm going to do B minus minus. Basically, this adds 1, this subtracts 1, and here is proof. I'm going to set this B to equal 50. Now to print out B. No.
now let's let's try this okay so it's gonna print out all of these okay 100 to 101 and 50 to 49 okay you you guys saw this in the four loops video which uh, is, should be in the same playlist as this just before this I think I don't know unless YouTube changes their sorting but uh, there you go there's the operators uh, have fun, make some cool programs, and uh, don't forget to, sub to subscribe, please.